guys welcome back to my channel i've got the next lock library box um it feels like not that long ago that we were unboxing the last one but i think it was a little bit later than usual so i'm pretty sure the theme for this was back to school because it's september um but let's unbox it try and get in the box because having trouble with that today Yay. Oh, it feels quite thin this month. Not a thick book like normal. Ooh, okay, that's pretty. We've got Every Exquisite Thing by Laura Stephen. Girls don't want beauty, girls want power. Oh, those are nice. Look at them. Pretty pink sprayed edges. A modern gothic gem, Samantha Shannon on the, on the Society for Soulless Girls. Okay. Looking very pretty. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. Got some pretty stuff on the inside. So we've got nice and shiny. And then we've got some pretty flowers on the inside. Same on the back. So we're getting, getting more artistic on the inner covers. Okay, let's see what this is about then. Penny Paxton, the daughter of a beloved icon, will do anything to continue her mother's legacy, including enrolling at the Elite and Cutthroat Dorian Drama Academy. When Penny's new mentor offers her the chance to have a portrait painted by a mysterious artist who promises immortal beauty to all his subjects, Penny jumps at the chance to join Dorian's most glittering alumni, knowing that, her stardom, that stardom will soon be hers. Then her mentor is found murdered, her portrait violently slashed, and as the bodies pile up, Penny realises she's made a terrible mistake. A seductive and searing exploration of beauty, identity, and what the pursuit of perfection can truly cost. Oh, so like a murder and mystery book. Okay, I am here for that. I'm loving the idea of that. Um, so it's by Laura Stephen, who is an award-winning author from the northernmost town in England, she has published several books for children and young adults. Her debut novel, The Exact Opposite of OK, won the inaugural Comedy Women in Print Prize. While The Love Hypothesis was optioned for TV by an Emmy-winning team. <coughs> her books have been widely translated and her work has appeared in the iPaper, The Guardian and BuzzFeed. Cool. So, there should be an awful letter in here. It has got a warning, which I've not actually seen in books before, not that I've noticed, um, but it has got a content warning for eating disorders, parental addiction, emotional abuse, animal death, body horror, disfigurement, violence, suicide, threats, and death. So kind of nice that they've put a warning in there. Um, not that great if you're like a monthly subscriber and those kind of things would trigger you because you probably wouldn't have bought the book. But you can probably sell it on, I suppose. And our little water letter inside here. Dear Lock Library Reader, When I first read the picture of Dorian Gray in high school, I was impressed not by the erudite explorations of atheist <coughs> ascetic <coughs> asceticism and amorality, but rather by the image of the tormented portrait subject destroying his own painting and in turn unaliving himself. My first thought was, there's a cat fur in my book already. <laughs> my cat's not even here. My first thought was not, wow, what a poignant allegory, but instead, cool murder weapon. That was half my life ago, and it took that amount of time for the other elements of every exquisite thing to coalesce. As soon as I learned that we were allowed to reimagine the classics, I knew I wanted to pay homage to the original text and my own personal struggles with body image. By digging my teeth into beauty ideals and the way they leach away our sense of worth, I wanted to unravel the way such obsessions are passed, <clears throat> such obsession, uh, obsessions are passed down through generations of women, like a string of cursed pearls and the length we go in order to break that curse. I wanted the story to play out like a tightly plotted murder mystery, whilst having the breathing room to swim around in these big ideas. And because I write first and foremost to delight myself, I brought to life with a moody, black swan-esque atmosphere, an almost entirely queer cast of leading players and some unnerving psychological horror with a dark fantasy twist. 
As with all my books, it ends on a note of love, hope and found family. Because we can always heal. We can always free ourselves and we don't have to do it alone. It took me a long time to realise that we don't actually have to wear those inherited pearls. We can store them away in a dusty attic like an immortal portrait, letting them wither away to nothing whilst we live full and wonderful lives in their stead. I'm excited. Um, I'm loving the covers. Like the colours on it are really nice, but I love like the black and purple and the gold. Um, and the edges are really nice. Not as detailed as some of the others that we've had for them, but really, really nice. Um, I actually finished August Lock Library book last night, which is really good. Um, and I'm excited to read this one. I do like a mystery. Um, and I can't wait. Let's pull out the book ribbon in its lovely gold colour to just match with the gold theme of the book. Yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait to read this. Um, I've not heard of this author before and I've, but then if she does like horror stuff, maybe, I don't know, um, because I'm not overly into horror. But this is, this sounds like an interesting book and I'm excited to read it and see what it's about. Um, and yeah, I will, as always, do a review on my blogging website, which I'll include in the description box below if you wanted to check that out um will probably be in a couple of weeks once i've got around to reading it um and i don't know how fast that's going to be because i am like about to really sink all my spare time in <laughs> into my comic con costume for next month which i have not even really started um but yeah keep an eye on my website i will post on my instagram and my twitter once i've read this and when i'm posting about it um but I'm excited. Um, I don't know if this is one of the cases where the Lock Library has released a book before it's been published, although that's not a Harper Voyager or Magpie logo. Honestly, that looks like the Sanzaru game developers logo, but that is obviously not the case. Um, published by Electric Monkey. Oh! So maybe they're branching out into like new publishers and not just their own stuff. So interesting because um, everything else has been Magpie or Harper Voyage or Harper Collins. Um, I can't wait to give this a read and I love the colours. Like it's so shiny and pretty. Um, yeah, I'll, um, I'll update you once I've read it like on my website. So if you like this video please drop a like and subscribe um if you subscribe you'll get notifications when i post new videos um on my book unboxings i am super excited because we've got a new one coming this month um which i will talk more about when it turns up but i'll see you for the next video bye